Uh, greetings students, I hope you guys are enjoying your time at home. Like I said, we're going to be doing some math work. Today's assignment is on proportions. Uh, you can use this using uh, proportions, percentages, or my favorite method, the arrow method. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure how tall that building is over there, and we're going to use shadows and some math and your head right here. So stay tuned. All right, if I look at that building, I'm going to move over here. Now, me personally, I don't want to, well, I would love to climb up this building and see how tall it is, but I'm not going to because I don't want to injure myself and be a bad example to you kids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, got one of these orange cones right here and using this orange cone, I'm just going to measure the, how long that shadow is that's all along here. And then I'm going to measure the distance from that building to that shadow with this trusted piece of chalk. Boys and girls, I'll just mark down where the shadow is right there. And then I'll mark down the shadow right there. So I want to make sure I have the shadows marked down properly. And now I'm just going to go measure. As you can kind of see, the shadow already moved. We're at one point, about 1.89 meters. I'll mark that down. I should have used measuring tape it's because I'm trying to do this so quickly. It might not be an exact science, but science really isn't an exact science anyway. If I wanted to make sure I did this perfectly, I would do this multiple times. I would do things, maybe how tall a car is or myself or something, but I'm only doing this once so I'm not going to get an exact answer, but that's okay, you'll get the idea. We'll do the rest of the work in the classroom and I'll show you how this is done. Let's see you in there. Welcome back to the classroom. Uh, we just got back from measuring the building, so what I'm going to put on the board is basically a little drawing of the building. Building. And this is the shadow right there. And over here, I call it a cone. I don't know what it is, but I'll call it a cone anyway. Cone shadow. All right, so what I'm going to do is I have the information right here, and I'll just put it on the board, and then we'll go into calculations. So if I look at this, it says the length of the building, or the height of the building, we don't know, but we do know the shadow is 5.18 meters. The shadow of the cone I have is 1.89 meters. And I measured the cone. I didn't do this in the video, but I measured the cone later. It's actually 1.3 meters. So if you look at these two, we have ourselves basically a 90 degree angle for both of these guys here. And if I connected the top of that building with the ends of the shadow on either end there, we have ourselves two right triangles. And using those two right triangles, we can use the idea of proportions to figure out the missing side here. So we could do this multiple ways. One way I'm going to do it is the classic way of using proportions or fractions. And how you set it up is up to you, really. You can set your proportion up any way. The key idea is you have to remain consistent. So I'm going to look at the height of the object divided by the length of the shadow. So when I write my proportion, the height over the shadow. So however I write it, the height goes on top, the length of the shadow goes on the bottom. So as I do this over here, I know the height of my building, I'll call that B, over the length of the shadow, which is 5.18. That's going to give me the same result as dividing 1.3 by 1.89. So as I do this, to figure out the length or the height of the building, Basically, the building is just, I want to get rid of that. So if I, if I stick to my rules of math, in order to get rid of dividing by 5.18, I have to multiply by 5.18 because 5.18 divided by 5.18, as we know by the identity property, is going to be 1. But this is an equal sign, which means I have to treat both sides equally. So if I multiplied this side by 5.18, I have to multiply this side by 5.18 just so I can be equal. So basically, 1.3 times 5.18 divided by 1.89 is going to give me the height of the building. 
And I did this in my head, not really, I'm gonna use my trusty calculator. So 1.3 times 5.18 equals, that gives me 6.734, and I'm gonna divide that by 1.89. 1.89 equals 3.56 meters. We'll say, I'll put a wavy line about, not exactly, but 3.56 meters, which means this building is three and a half meters, which uh, seems to make sense. It was about twice my height. I'm about 1.75. That's about twice my height. So I would say we're pretty consistent and we are very accurate in our work. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna attach a problem with this video on the Google Docs page when you click on that. But in the meantime, I hope you found this, uh, for the rest of you guys that aren't doing the homework, I hope you found this very valuable. I'll have a couple videos here that you might be interested in. I might put a food video in there too. If you'd like to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much, and always keep mathing, and how do you do?